God's blessings. The fourth Sunday of Advent, <clears throat> Sunday morning, is also is on the 24th of December. The also will become Christmas Eve later in the day. And the story for the fourth Sunday of Advent is the story of the angel coming to Mary. The story of Christmas is Mary giving birth to this wonderful child who became our Messiah, was our Messiah. Mary, the story of Mary and the angel coming to her, is one that is a miraculous story. It is an amazing story. There were really no eyewitnesses, it doesn't say. I've heard people make all sorts of rationalizations, other scientific ex ex explanations, trying to um, talk away what happened. Some people say, if you don't believe in the virgin birth, you, you can't be a Christian and then make it into a doctrine. We never really will know what happened, but we do have the story and the experience of God coming to be with us. And we do have the story of Mary, this, this, this young, this girl, this young woman who opened her life up to God, who somehow responded to God in a way that transformed everything. She had no clue what would happen, but she could pretty much tell an unwed mother um, who was engaged to somebody else and to somebody that this is going to be a problem. Um, she faced a lot of uncertainty. And yet, in that uncertainty, she trusted in God. She said, be it according to your will. We live in a world where there are many people who are, are preppers, they prepare for the end times, assuming everyone's going to be shooting each other, and, and this is going to be a nightmare, and people talking about a civil war. And I trust in God. Let us open ourselves like Mary in a world that talks of climate change and, and catastrophes and wars. And let's be like Mary and say, Lord, be it according to your will. I offer my life, I, I offer my, myself to you. Be according to your will. And the power of God will transform everything. We don't know what the future will hold as Mary could not imagine all she could see was going to be problems. But God spoke to Joseph in a dream, led them away to protect them, and opened the door of salvation. May we find God's salvation in, the, in our hearts and accept the salvation given to us by saying, yes, Lord, be it according to your will. Here I am, Lord. Speak through me, use me, use my, my limitations, use all that I have. Who I am for your glory. This is all we can do. In a world that has more uncertainties and growing every day. Divisions and questions, technologies that are surpassing our understanding, let us go to the peace of God, which passes all our understanding. For there's no technology, there's no threat of climate or war that will ever separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. In the physical world, not the artificial intelligent world, not the, the world of Facebook friends or online virtual living, but the living word of God that became flesh and lived among us as one of us and lives with us as one of us and continues to live with us. Let us receive God into our hearts again, opening ourselves as Mary, the great challenge the challenge of humanity that Mary threw down for all will we follow.
Let us follow Mary in that great act of faith. Sometimes it takes one person, one spark, and she, her spark has lit the world on fire. All we have to do is feel that warmth and continue that glow and, and open ourselves in the little ways we have. And that is enough for God to be alive in us. For God is there, it is for us to open ourselves up and to receive the peace of God that has passes all our understanding, the salvation of God that, that transforms all of life, the forgiveness of God that heals the deep wounds that are residing within us. May that living God, the Christ child, come alive in you. Blessings.